That's a huge task. So it's about empowerment of the people. It's something commendable. Every sensible human being should uh, think of it and learn from it. Seven hundred fifty million Chinese lived uh, out of poverty, uh, and that requires a lot of work. That requires a lot of investment. That requires a very good policy, a very good strategy. We in Ethiopia also would like uh, to uplift our people from poverty. We have uh, about twenty million, uh, uh, and uh, we would like to, uh, uh, of course, reduce uh, and eradicate poverty. Uh, so. What China did actually gives us uh, uh, hope, it uh, encourages us, uh, it is a source of inspiration that uh, we believe we can also do it. How uh, each village actually was identified, experts was, were assigned, leaders were assigned and they were given a time frame, the necessary resource and then uh, finally uh, achieved the target that uh, was set by the government, I think. Uh, that's meticulous, I think, in, uh, in my view. When we uh, now come to this point and start to comment on the achievement of uh, you know, poverty eradication of China, then we have to see the uh, vision and the commitment of the political leadership. And then the role of the you know, intellectual and the think tank to develop their policy and uh, programs. And uh, especially the Chinese you know, uh, think tank is started to do everything based on innovation. This unity among the different sections of the society. Another one is the you know, sustainability of the government and the timely decision taken by the Communist Party and the government and implemented uh, the policy they have framed up. This is the basic, you know, foundation for uh, development and eradication of the poverty. Every country in the world, every sensible human being should uh, think of it and learn from it. As a neighboring country, Nepal, we need uh, 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 to share their experience. We expect their help for the prosperity and happiness of Nepalese people. I think w the, the approach that uh, China took uh, is what uh, uh, economists or social workers call multi-dimensional poverty index. Because uh, poverty cannot just be described based on uh, someone's income or just where he or she lives. There are a number of things that uh, are required for a person to be considered to be out of poverty or lack of it uh, will uh, make this person to be referred to as poor. And therefore, the approach uh, that uh, China used, as we just mentioned, for China to successfully uplift uh, millions of people from poverty within this short period of time, is something commendable and, and I think uh, many of our countries should learn from what China has. There are three uh, things uh, which have really impressed me uh, in this strategy. Firstly, um, uh, it's about changing attitude and mindsets. It's not about uh, blood uh, transfusion but blood protection, meaning that uh, you create conditions uh, whereby people can generate their own incomes rather than giving them aid. So it's about empowerment of the people. And thirdly, a very impressive uh, element of this strategy was that when uh, educated people uh, from the cities, young, uh, young, young, young people were, were asked to go and help these people in the poor areas to, in their capacity building in, uh, in, in telling them uh, teaching them new technologies of, of uh, branding their products, of marketing their products. So I think this was uh, giving back to the society approach uh, by, the, by the nation, by the people of Chinese was re really remarkable.